Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a little while since I've done a video and I am really sorry about that. It may end up being that weekends for the time being will be the best time for me to get uh, some of these videos done and upload a few guys. As you guys probably already know, my little st online store, Zara May Boutique, has kind of taken off a bit. Well, that has taken up a lot of my time, but I haven't forgotten about y'all on YouTube or on Instagram, and I'm really kind of missing it, so I do want to get back to making those videos. So today I do have a kind of little review and packing video on a new product that I did get in at Zara May Boutique, and I was very, very lucky to be able to work with Itsy Ritzy, um, the brand from the US, and bring over a lot of their products to Australia for Australian mums. One line of product that I did bring over from that brand are their diaper bags or nappy bags, and I'm super excited about that because I personally, as a consumer and a mom, have been eyeing off these bags for a very long time, but they are quite difficult to get here in Australia at a reasonable price or they're back ordered or something like that. So I have to share with you guys today is their one of their diaper bags, which is a convertible diaper bag, and it's called the Triple Threat. And here it is here in the black herringbone. And as I mentioned, this is a convertible diaper bag can be worn four, oh well, they say three, but I kind of think four different ways. So you've got the tote handles at the top here. You've also got a messenger strap that comes with it with a padded shoulder strap. And this can be worn over the shoulder or messenger style. And you've also got the ability to use this strap as well as another one that's given to you in with the bag as uh, backpack straps. But I found that a little bit uncomfortable for me because I do have a back injury, so I need something a little bit more supportive. It does work if you don't mind that. But what I ended up doing instead was putting on some BFF straps from a GGB Sweet Scarlet BFF, and they work really, really well. So I'm gonna take this bag out today with my five kids. We're gonna go to the shopping center and get some stuff to go to my dad's for barbecue. So I'm gonna pack entertainment and snacks and drinks just in case we do stop and have something to eat or if they get kind of restless at my dad's. I just wanted to give you my, my first impressions, how it packs, and I will come back at another time and give you a more in-depth review about what I think about using it after a while. But so far, I really enjoyed packing this up. This does remind me a little bit of a Lily Jade Elizabeth, um, but lighter and just got more organization in the center. So let's get on to the packing portion of the video. So as I mentioned before, this is in the black herringbone print. There are two other prints currently that are available in this bag and in their other diaper bags. And that is the Rosy Pop, which is a very colorful floral print that I ha actually have the Boss backpack in. And I love that bag too. So stay tuned for that one. There will be a packing video on that coming in review. As well as the Coffee and Cream. They are releasing, Itsy Ritsy is releasing a new color coming uh, mid-May called Handsome Heather Gray, which I will be stocking as well at... Um, Zara May Boutique and that is just beautiful as well that's a grey with some leather like a faux leather brown accents so the material that I found on this bag is quite nice if you can see in the camera there but there is like a pattern to it like a little duck kind of lines diamond cross lines and there is the uh, faux leather tassel here as well as the faux leather little flaps on the pocket on the um, tote handles as well. It's also a rubberized bottom to these bags and all the Itsy Ritsy bags actually have this so it's really really handy for when you put your bag down on surfaces that you may be worried that will make the bag dirty. This actually protects uh, the bag, the bottom of the bag a lot and I find that even with my Boss backpack that I had used already with this rubberized bottom I wasn't a, as afraid to kind of like toss it on the ground or whatever because I knew that it was going to be protected. For Personally, I think it's a really, really nice feature that they have on the bottom of this. And a lot of the time they blend it in with the bags, so you can't even really notice it. I have it set up with the messenger strap and what I may or may not leave these on. I might actually take these off just because I find this is good enough to grab. But these are removable, these tote straps. You just unclip them like this on either side and you can take them off which is really kind of cool if you don't want to have them on there that's a nice option and I think that looks fine without them on there I do have the BFF backpack straps on here which are very easy to remove and put on I will just 
take them off for now just because it makes it easier to show you the features of the bag. But here are the, the D-rings right here that you can attach them and then there are some D-rings down the bottom too. So I am going to pack up the pockets in the front first and then we'll go into the, uh, the middle of the bag then we'll do the bottle pockets last. So in this pocket here, it has a magnetic closure. I am going to put my iPhone 10 because that fits perfect in there and it closes shut really nice. Oh, there are the photo other accents down here too. This is just a really nice classy looking print. In this side, I am going to put my Tokidoki comb purse with my lipstick and lip gloss and stuff in there. There aren't any other pockets on the outside apart from the bottle pockets and these bottle pockets are insulated which is really nice. And you go into the center of the bag, it's a really nice smooth smooth zipper and the inside has some great organization. I just really like the light gray with the black lining um, and the organization with the pockets and everything in here. So I'm just going to move the camera up so you can get a better view down into the bag. Okay, so looking down into the triple threat bag when it's open, it does open up really nice and wide which I really like. There is a magnetic big pocket back here that I guess you could put the change pad in. It does come with a very nice change pad that opens up quite big. Um, I don't use change pads anymore so I'm not going to take that with me today. What I am going to put back in that pocket is my diapering needs and I'm not going to use any pouches today except I think one pouch one so this is a really good bag to pack if you're not a pouch packer so I do have an XY base light change pad from Jujube and I'm going to pop that back there like this and I, I will take my two nappies I might pop a third one in there before we go but I normally only take two because Clara is a little older so here's one size five in there like that and here's the other one just like that and then this pocket does you can see in there this pocket does close and it just keeps them nice and out of the way there are two pockets in front of this big pocket there and in one of them I'm going to put my Lily Jade wallet it's like that and in the other one I'm going to put my Y pouch 30 like that perfect fit for those that's it for the pockets at the back. So I'm just going to turn the bag around so you can see these pockets here. There's a nice long zip pocket right here. And this is silver hardware, by the way. I forgot to mention that, which is really pretty with the black. And this is a huge, huge zip pocket back here. So I'm going to put my mini wipe pouch in there with my antibacterial wipes. And my little coin purse with my disposable baggies. And I think I might actually also put my little Tokidoki coin purse with my brush and hair ties and stuff back there as well. Just kind of put them in a line and zip that up. And that's really, really well secured back there. There are three pockets in front of that. And these two on this either side are a little bit bigger. And this one in the middle is smaller. So in one of the side pockets here that's a little bit bigger, I'm going to put my GGB small um, set piece with my mummy and my kidneys just in there and I always keep with that my little hand sanitizer so I'm just pop that next to it like that in the middle pocket here I am going to put my keys that's a perfect spot for your keys a phone does fit in there too like a mobile phone but I've got that in the front so I'll just put those in there and then on the other side I'm actually going to put my snack bags. These are Tokidoki snack bags by Itzy Ritzy and these are called Myrmacorno All Stars. This is the print and these are the only ones I have left at um, Zara May Boutique. My other ones, the Under Underwater Adventures sold out really quickly but they are on their way to be replaced in stock but right now these are the ones that we have so I thought I'd snag a couple for myself and these are really really nice snack bags. I don't know where they've been all my life because the other ones I was using were really cheap kind of crappy ones but these do keep things really fresh. They're really nice material and they're just such a fun print. There are other prints available as well that are coming in the mini snack. These are the mini snack bags by the way. So you're going to pop these in. I'm going to pop these in that little pocket right there. That's perfect to keep those in. And then the other things I have left are my entertainment things and my drink bottles. So there are two mesh pockets, one on each side on the inside of the bag here. And on this side I am going to put my Tigu blocks. In a, in a, this is in a small be organized. Fits perfect in there. And then in the other mesh pocket on this side I'm just going to put 
my little boogie board and I can probably even fit the uh, small be organized with the magnaform blocks in there but I think I'll just pop those in the center instead like this and I also have an LCD writing board so that's going to get popped in the center as well so that's everything inside my bag I'm actually going to put in my daughter's lovey this is her boo from taggy's brand so pop that in the center there and there's still a lot more room that i could easily put more things in the top of this bag and it zips up very very easily now, the only thing i have left to put in here are my drink bottles so i've got a fugu thermos bottle and these elastic pockets on the side are so easy to get bottles in they just slide right in like that you can hear it's crunchy that's the insulation in the pocket and this is just a regular Thermos, uh, thermos container and that fits in there too and there you go so I'm all ready to go I can carry this over my shoulder or I can add, add my BFF backpack straps and use it that way and the bag is still so light it's such a light bag for what it carries so I hope you guys enjoyed that little packing video I will come back as I said and give you all an update on how I liked wearing this and how it works for my uses um, as I mentioned, we are stocking this currently on Zara May Boutique. I'll pop the link down below. And yeah, so you all have a great day and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot.